Alyssa's law is legislation to improve response time of law enforcement during emergencies in public schools. It mandates that all public elementary and secondary schools are equipped with a silent panic button that directly alerts law enforcement. The law is named in honor of Alyssa Alhadef, who was killed in the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School shooting. So far, New Jersey, New York, and Florida have signed it into law, with several more states in progress. Since each state adopted their own legislation, there are details that vary from one to the next. However, there are parts of the law that remain consistent from state to state. Those are the things that we'll focus on here in the five best practices for implementing Alyssa's law. Some states that have implemented Alyssa's law require only one silent panic button per school. This is a good start, but since there's no way to predict where trouble will arise, it's better to have them in multiple locations. We suggest placing a panic button in every classroom. This could greatly decrease the time it takes to alert authorities in an emergency. Alyssa's law calls for silent panic alarms in order to minimize escalation of a stressful situation. What a silent alarm alone cannot do is alert on-site security personnel and staff when an emergency is in progress. We suggest the addition of visual notification devices to augment your silent alarm. For example, a Valcom VL520 LED sign with integrated flashers placed in the main office area can display a message to give the exact location of the panic button that was pushed. This information can be used to quickly deploy resources to that area or to divert traffic from it. Valcom systems can also send pop-up messages directly to any computer attached to your school's network. This can alert staff or faculty of an incident real time without the disruption of an audible alarm. A blue strobe on your school's exterior that only flashes in an emergency can alert passing law enforcement that a situation is unfolding inside. Additionally, consider implementing a system that can provide district level visibility of emergency events, like Valcom VMAS. Some states mandate a direct two-way open phone conversation with authorities when a panic button is pushed. Others require a repeating recorded message. Regardless of which your state requires, providing detailed information to authorities is critical to ensure that they can respond to the specific location where help is needed. Be sure that your alerting system can send caller ID or even more granular information like classroom numbers to your designated authorities in an emergency event. If your state mandates a repeating recorded message, we suggest using a text-to-speech engine to ensure that authorities hear a stressless voice in a stressful situation. Text-to-speech messages are always consistent and can be modified much easier than re-recording a human voice. An emergency panic button has been activated in room 136 at Regency High School. When it's time to implement Alyssa's Law in your school, be sure to partner with a manufacturer with a proven track record. Here at Valcom, we've helped over 45,000 schools just like yours implement alerting and notification solutions to keep students safe, informed, and on schedule. Visit valcom.com for more.